Okay, and the question so far about Bandura and the notion of self-efficacy. Well, the other thing that, that um, Bandura gives us in terms of expected uh, self-efficacy or self-efficacy expectations is where does this confidence come from? And Bandura identifies four different sources of self-efficacy. The uh, first source is uh, mastery experiences. or previous accomplishments, whatever you want to call them. I mean, to, this is pretty intuitive. If, if you have been in Olympic kinds of competition, and you've gone out on the ice, and you've successfully performed your routine, even if you didn't win medals, you've been there. You've done that. You've had the experience of executing in that environment. And clearly, the more often that I have done that and done it successfully, the greater my self-efficacy will be. Of course, by the same token, the more that I have gone into this environment, and rather than succeeding, I have failed, um, that, of course, may erode my confidence. Yeah, I mean, this is my third world championships, and I haven't gotten through my routine yet without ending up on my derriere in the middle embarrassing fall in the middle of the, the routine. And so that, in turn, would, of course, erode self-efficacy and bring it down. The um, second um, source um, that can also help self-efficacy is vicarious experience. And this is uh, basically Bandura's social learning theory again. Um, where, again, maybe not to, to flog this example, but let's stick with the figure skating for now. Um, if, if, you know, I'm waiting to go out for my routine, and another competitor is performing on the ice right now, and I know that this person is roughly equivalent to me in terms of talent and skill level. And we've got a similar kind of a history. We've been in the same competitions. Maybe we even practice at the same rink. And they're out there. They go through their program without any difficulty. And maybe even I saw that competitor beforehand. I saw, saw how nervous they were. Um, and, and you know, they looked so anxious. And yet once their music started, they went out, bing, 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 got the routine down pat. And so I can basically say, now, if they can do it, I can do it. And from that kind of vicarious experience of seeing them execute, I can gain confidence as well. And so now I may go out and then approach it and, and say, well, you know, now I can, I can get up there and do it, believe that I can execute in this environment, um, in this particular Olympics or World Championship, whatever it is. Uh, the same is true in, in almost anything we do. When we look around at similar others, other people who are like us, who are you know, engaging challenging situations or environments, and yet they are able to execute these behaviors and produce desirable outcomes. And I compare myself to them, and I say, you know, I could put myself in this box too. Then obviously I get this boost of self-confidence. I mean, if you look around you in a class, you know, maybe you are having a difficult time in, in calculus, and you look around at the others in the classroom and you say, gee, you know, these people aren't any smarter than me. You know, look at Joanna over there. I mean, I know I'm smarter than Joanna, and Joanna is knocking off bees in this course and managing. If she can do it, so can I. And so that kind of that social learning, that social comparison allows us to gain confidence from it. Absolutely, yeah. Just like mastery experiences, this can work the other way. Um, again, using you know the figure skating. You know, there's your good friend out there. Oh yeah, doing the same routine we work on. Oops, 
boom, down goes your, your friend. Ah! And, and now that, in fact, can erode uh, your confidence if you see similar others fail. I mean, if you're looking around your calculus class and all of these people who you think are about the same level of intelligence and experience as you, um, and they're all holding up X on their paper, uh, you can bet your confidence starts to erode and you start to wonder if you can execute. Uh, again, I mean, it, it's basically just watching other people in the same circumstance and, and then seeing how they're doing and kind of interpreting that for yourself. If you were in their shoes, could you or could you do it? And so self-efficacy beliefs or confidence can uh, go up or down as a result of that. Other questions? Another uh, source for self-efficacy beliefs uh, is Bandura uses the, the term social persuasion. I guess it's as good as anything to, to describe it. This is the effect of uh, having another person kind of give you the confidence. It, it's, it's the old, you know, coach thing. Uh, you can do it. Come on now. Get out there. You're fine. Rah, rah. We're behind you. Just go out and do it, do it, do it. It's, it's the Nike commercial. I mean, it's the parents giving you the, the encouragement and friends and whatnot else. And basically, it's a, a third party who is kind of looking at you in this situation who is expressing a belief that you do possess the skills or talents or behaviors and that you should and will be able to execute. And you look at that third party and you basically say, well, if they think such is the case, then maybe I should too. And I can get a boost in self-efficacy or confidence. And again, most of you have probably appreciated this at some point in time when you're engaging into something difficult or challenging when a friend or a coach or a mentor um, or a parent um, will give you that little you know, speech that I believe in you, go ahead, you can get through this, you can do it. And so you yeah, 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 and in you go. And you, you engage uh, the situation rather than having that doubt and lack of confidence. You're, you're more approach oriented as you go into it. Now, this one here is a bit tricky because obviously it's going to depend on the credibility of the persuader. This basically to have the maximum impact on our confidence, it has to be somebody who we believe or trust that they do know us and they appreciate that environment or situation. I mean, if I'm about to go into you know, the, the um, final round in, in the Olympics, and my sweet, dear little old grandmother comes up and says, you can do it, little darling, you just get up there. I'm probably not going to get a lot of boost of confidence. I mean, and, you know, my grandmother's saying that because, I mean, she loves me. She doesn't know anything about figure skating. I mean, the fact that there's a bunch of judges out there who already hate me. Um, you know, that's grandma being grandma. However, if, you know, a reputable coach comes up to me, and, and says, geez, you know, I watched your performances in the Nationals and it was sensational. I think you're really going to knock them dead out there, you know. You're doing those triples really beautifully. Like, no, go up and just do it. Oh, wow. That credible source thinks I can do it. Now I get that boost of confidence. 